There are many non-Muslims who come and ask me, the brother Zakir, God can do anything and everything. So why do you have a problem if God becomes a human being? God can do anything and everything. So what's your problem if he becomes a human being? I said, fine, if I agree with you for sake of argument, that God can do anything and everything. And if God can become a human being, if God becomes a human being, he ceases to be God. Because the qualities of God and human beings, they are opposite. Almighty God is immortal. Human being is mortal. You can't have a person who's immortal and mortal at the same time. You can either have an immortal person or a mortal person. You can't have an immortal, mortal person. It is meaningless. Almighty God, he has got no beginning. Human beings have a beginning. You can't have a God-man. A person having a beginning and no beginning at the same time, it is meaningless. Almighty God has got no end. Human beings have an end. You can't have a person who has an end and no end at the same time. It is meaningless. It's like me telling you, I saw a tall, short man. I can either see a tall man or a short man. I can see a medium man. I can't see a tall, short man. It's meaningless. I can't see a fat, thin man. I can either see a fat man or a thin man or a medium man, but not a fat, thin man. Therefore, if you say Almighty God became a human being, then he ceases to be Almighty God. If you say Almighty God can do anything and everything, human beings, we require to eat. Almighty God does not require to eat. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Anam, chapter number 6, verse number 14, He feedeth everyone, but does not require to be fed. Almighty God does not require to eat. We human beings, we require sleep, we require rest. Almighty God does not require sleep and rest. It's mentioned in the Quran in Ayat al-Khursi, Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 255. Allahu la ilaha al hayyul qayyum la taqhuzu zina tawana naum lahu ma fi samawati wa ma fi lard He is Allah, one and only. The absolute, the eternal. No slumber can seize him, nor does he require rest. To him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. Therefore, if you agree with this argument that Almighty God can do anything and everything, and if Almighty God becomes the human being, you have to agree that he ceases to be God. So if a person who ceases to be God and become the human being like you and me, then why should I worship a human being like you and me? It does not make sense. And if some people say again that human being became God, if human being can become God, even you and I can become God. So where's the question of human being becoming God? So therefore, this argument that God can do anything and everything, if you go a step further, if God can do anything and everything, God can even tell a lie. But to tell a lie is ungodly. The moment God tells a lie, he ceases to be God. In the same argument, Almighty God, if he wants, he can do injustice. But it is ungodly to do injustice. Allah says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 40, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is never unjust in the least degree. The moment God does injustice, he ceases to be God. In the same argument, if God can do anything and everything, Almighty God, if he wants, he can forget. But to forget is ungodly. Allah says in Surah Taha, chapter number 20, verse 52, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never forgets. The moment Almighty God forgets, then he ceases to be God. If you agree with the same argument, God can do anything and everything, Almighty God can make a mistake. But to make a mistake is ungodly. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Taha chapter 20 verse 52, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never errs. He never makes a mistake. The moment Almighty God makes a mistake, he ceases to be God. Therefore, if you read the Quran, nowhere does the Quran say Allah can do anything and everything. What does the Quran say? Inna Allah ala kulli shayin kadeer. Verily, Allah has power over all things. It's mentioned several places in the Quran. In Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 106. Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 109. Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 284. In Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse 29. In Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 77. In Surah Fatir, chapter number 35, verse number 1. Allah says, Inna Allah ala kulli shayin kadeer. For verily, Allah has power over all things. And Allah says in Surah Buraj, chapter number 85, verse number 16, that Allah is the doer of all he intends. Whatever he intends, he can do. So he does not intend doing ungodly things like telling a lie, like making a mistake, like forgetting, like doing injustice, like becoming a human being. So the Quran says, 
inna Allah ala kulli shayin kadir. For verily, Allah has power over all things. Allah can do whatever He intends, but He does not intend doing ungodly things like making a mistake, like forgetting, like doing injustice, like becoming a human being. That's the reason Almighty God will not become a human being.